starting to work on a video for an antique store. I'm going to do the winner of these two marbles. This was a giveaway on my channel. I do giveaways all the time, so if you like this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe. And in this video, I buy these two items, which you can see in the video, and um, they'll be given away. All you have to do is comment on this video, and you get a chance at these two pretty cool items. Later. All right, I'm down here in Marietta today. I'm going to go into this uh, antique store here. Riverview antiques it looks like Go in here and see what they got nice deer antlers there in the window But out there is the Ohio River. It's a really cold Like day, but it's nice out. It's only like 20 out here. I'll get back in the store All right, I'm in here. This is a pretty nice Kind of a higher-end store, you know, they there's lots of cool stuff here. There's some decoys, but look at this. I love stuff like this. It's an oriental drum. I'm just trying to, looking at that. I don't know. It's probably Chinese, but that could be Japanese with the dragons. I'd have to do some research on it, but it's one of the two. And that's very awesome. It looks like it's got a little age to it. I bet it's $500. 775 and there's some more oriental themed tables must have got somebody must have had an auction that had some oriental themed stuff these are kind of cool too it's a nice airplane photo several aviation stuff's cool these are cool too These are cool looking, these are like 1940s looking. That's nice too, that cabinet. There's some more deer antlers. They got a bunch of them, some down in there. Them are old ones too. That's a beautiful chair right here. Look at how delicate and nice that is. That's really pretty. All right, I'll get back on some of the cool stuff. I'm looking for bottles and, you know, marbles stuff like that yeah they got some comics that's silver age ghostly haunts i like horror comics that's pretty cool billy the kid i'll look through some of these and i'll get back at you <laughs> i had these as a kid werewolf by night that's very cool these are cool ones the witching hour, I have lots of these. The flint stands, these ain't bad. The condition could be better. But there's the team of Dracula, these are quite collectible. Death of a vampire, the condition. If the condition was better on these, I'd buy every one of them. An old mad. Yeah, just not good enough condition on the books, but maybe they'll have some better ones in here. Huh. Salem versus Rio Grande. That's an old college basketball program. That's worth some money. That's worth more than $14.99. I'd want $34.95 for this, like if I had it in an eBay store. That's very cool. It's a nice piece. Some old Valentines. Huh. All right, I'll get back. Be looking through here today. Well, this is a very odd looking baby stroller. I've never seen one like this before, ever. I go in a lot of antique stores. Look, it's got like wheel wells on it, like a, a 50s or 60s car. I'd say this is from the mid 1950s, looking at it. Um, Shockproof construction. Taylor quality, huh? Taylor taught. How cool is that? Little wood handle on it. $95. I say that's a pretty, I, I would have guessed that would be $250. $95, that could be fixed up. There's another old stroller. I bet you that one's a little more. I bet you that one's $190. Let's see. 
95 on that one too. I like that one a lot better. Yeah. All right. If anybody knows anything about them, put it in the description. There's some old women's purses. $10. There's an old little hand mirror. Five ninety nine. dollars Looks kind of cool. Milk here, five dollars. It's a paper mache Santa. Huh. That's a cool little rocking chair. Well, if you collect old toys, here's one for you. Right there's the Hubbly fire engine. The box is with it and it's in beautiful condition for 95 bucks. And you could probably get it cheaper. That is a beautiful toy. It's just a beauty, man. Look. Pocket warmer. I haven't seen one of them. Well, look here. Herder's World Famous Game Calls. That's older. Complete reloading tool. There's some cool stuff in all of these places. Every place you look. I like that old trash can there too. Huh. May 17th, 1904, the Davis Electric Company sole manufactures Parkersburg, West Virginia. I wonder if that's some kind of... What the heck is that? If anybody knows, put that down in the description. It's got like D, let's see, numbers. I don't know what that is. You look up that. Huh. Never seen anything like it. There's always some interesting stuff on these shelves here. I showed that Girl Scouts thing before, but this person adds stuff to this. You can see, yeah, I showed that train before. It's like folk art. You know, it was made in the 70s for the centennial. It's like a folk art piece, but so is this. Look at this. Looks like this is all handmade. And it's like a sad baby, sad baby, and two doctors holding it. That looks handmade to me, like somebody's put that together. That's kind of a cool piece if you knew a doctor, especially somebody that delivered babies. That could all be cleaned up. That's kind of a cool thing, like for a doctor's office. Never seen anything like that. Pretty wild. But, uh, peace. Told you. Button thing. Yeah, there. If I haven't seen one of these for sale for a long time, I'm in this Riverview Antiques here. They have really cool stuff in here. I just found this up on the shelf. Look at this Sipstein Eskimo. It's six dollars. I'm gonna buy that, but that's an old mussel shell, and it would have the holes in it are where mussel shell buttons were cut out. It's from he said from a factory here in Marietta. That's an awesome piece. And they have some nice arrowheads in here. That frame right there is decent. Fossils, see all this stuff. Look at that big conch shell, 37 bucks, 39 bucks. That's beautiful. That's a big one. Yeah, I've not seen this before. That's a museum in Marietta. That's a souvenir, Campus Martyrs Museum, 12 bucks. I've never seen that. It's a cool coin, tin toy. Look at that. That's a beautiful crop, $95. Yeah, there's moles. See what they got here. Yeah, these are like some kind of charms, but there's some vintage marbles in there. Ooh. 
That's pretty nice right there. There's several nice ones in here. There's a nice one there. It ain't bad. Twelve ninety five. There's some decent stuff. Cool. Yeah. There's some vintage in here. Some new. Seventeen fifty. That's a fair price. There's some decent ones in there too. I see some. There's some vitres and there's some newer ones, but. Seventeen fifty. That ain't bad. There's a huge thing of marbles. Marbles all back in there. Yeah. That's a pretty cool bank, huh? Not seen that. Great bet. Huh. All right. Later. Yeah, look at this. See, there's some old marbles in this, too. And new ones. There's some decent ones in there. See, there's some old marbles in here, too. See the swirls? Wow, these actually ain't bad. Look at that big blue shooter right there. There's an alley red squirrel. There's one of these aqua ones like I just found in the dump right there. There's another red. These are worth it if they're under 20 bucks. These ain't bad. Oh, the price fell off 1750. See, that's a good. That's a good buy on that. Some of you want to call. Yeah, I'm here discussing the antiques with my mom there. She's, I'll show you something she's probably going to buy, but man, this is cool, isn't it? Look at this. This is a great idea. That's only $54.99. It's like a little table. And that's real, that's very nice for the price. Now look at this. This would be perfect. To like put some collectibles in and you know i th i would say in a place like this that'd be 150 dollars for a nice display like this it's not it's 79.99 and we're going to try to get it for 50. we'll offer him 50 and see what he says so that's a beautiful piece huh look at it can't pass that up on that price i'll get back and show you what we get that's cool that's very cool but here's a spot here with bottles. I might as well just keep this on. I always find stuff here to look at. All of this kind of stuff's cool. Look at this. Caro oil water can. $32.99. That's I like stuff like that. And here's a coal bucket. $24. And you see they I find some of this stuff here these same bottles because I dig in this area see there's a Broughton's war bond huh? oh it is working together an American tradition I should probably buy this I don't see these often and these are the by far the best milks the war bond ones that group protected they want $44 for it. It's worth that. That's a beauty. You have a chance to get them war bond milks. You get them, folks. Ooh. I think this will be a Marietta a high orange crush bottle. Oh, it's got a dang right here. No, it's Pennsboro, West Virginia. That ain't bad. Four ninety nine. That's. I know I could get thirty for this. Just how it is. It's got one little flea bite there, but it don't matter. That's a good bottle with Pennsboro on them. I buy it. It's worth at least thirty dollars. And we'll see what they got here. There's a cool blue insulator right there. 
You see all these that they have, and they're priced right. Four dollars, and these are the night. There's a gainer insulator right there, an aqua one with no damage for four dollars and ninety nine cents. And look at this one, Holly PA USA. That's in eight dollars, man. That's nice. That's nice. Look at that, folks. Mm, good prices on this stuff, and I'm, I'm definitely buying this for myself. Let's see. Now oh, there's a ten toy too. A truck. Nineteen fifteen Ford. Ten dollars and ninety nine cents. Well, oh, that's cool as heck. Where are you going to see that for that price? 1915 Ford truck model toy. I wonder who made this. What's it say here? Sign of quality made in Japan. So it's a Japanese 10 toy. Yeah, I guess one of the hub, it's missing over here on this side, but that's still worth it. If it was complete, I'd buy it. Huh. Mine safety. All right, later. Yeah, there's an old powder horn too. That's pretty cool, and that's 40, 29.99. That's very cool. My mom's getting that thing. I just took it up front, and I'm getting that crush bottle. I might give that crush bottle away because it's a good bottle, and it's one that I could dig. Being Pennsboro, we'll see. Always find stuff here. There's always some good deals. And you know, if I was selling on eBay now, I'd make, I'd double my money every time I walked in this place, buying a few small items. See, that's a cool crock right there for $18.99. That's very cool. If I dug that, I wouldn't sell it for that. It'd be $50. Well, I think these are probably, these haul things are new trucks, but they're new trucks made in the tradition of old trucks. I would say here, look at these. These look like a 1950s or 60s kid's plastic toy, but I'd say these were made just now. Made in the USA plastic hauls tractor trailer. I'd say that's... That's, they, I like all this kind of stuff. Look at all these little trucks and stuff they have here. You can buy all this stuff here. Central Freighters, FedEx trucks, they got it all. There's some cool ones. I've shaved these before, but they got some different ones now. Some race cars, these are nice, they're die cast. Yeah, that's, that's pretty realistic and cool. This is, there's some cool stuff here always too. I found real cool bottles here and stuff. Stuff back in here for a few bucks. Sorry if it's kind of dark in here. They didn't have many lights on back in here. I don't see anything mind blowing here. I thought these were marbles, but they're beads. That looks like a toy canteen, indeed. They made a lot of this kind of stuff, $4 right after Vietnam. Kids seeing all that war on TV wanted to emulate it, so they wanted machine gun toys, and that stuff was huge then. That's probably what that's from, right around Vietnam. Look at the, the wiener dog, that's very cool. It's a big ceramic one and it says Snoopy on it, $25. That's the kind of stuff I buy. You could put that on eBay and want $74.95 for it. And it might be a slow sell, but it's gonna sell. And that's a $50 profit and I know I could get $79.99 for that, just putting it on there, some woman that has Dogs like that will see that, fall in love with it, and pay you the $70 eventually. See, there's another old one there, one with a bobblehead. 
There's some there's some old gin bottles. These are twenty bucks. They're perfect. There's one for thirty two. It's huge. These are old bottles. These are nice ones too. There's a, look at that old flies, moth, roaches, ants. I think I'm not even at the glass window display, but that's a cool old black flag. Continuous sprayer, see it there? That's very cool. I wonder how much that is. That's a good item. I can't see a price, but that one's in nice condition and it's got real nice yellow and black. It's a nice piece. A lot of you women asked me to shave dolls. Here's some dolls. It says choice $25 each. I'll go through them here. These look vintage. I'm not sure he made these, but I'm sure that one there is nice. That one with the red hair. That's an old one. That one with the rain cage is nice too. If I was selling these, I'd probably get go for these too. And this one here on the end is nice. I say them are worth more than $25 a piece, putting them on the internet with real good pictures. Huh. There you go, for you ladies. I thought somebody might like, that's an old, like 1960s Kodak advertisement. You just don't see stuff like that too often. It all got thrown away. But turn this on here, there's some bottles. Marietta, I should buy that war bond milk, but I'll leave something for you guys. It's a good one, but look at that. Man, that's nice. It's an old medicine bottle. If it was embossed, I'd buy that. Look at that color. $15 on that. Uh, Richard. That's a cool looking. Huh. What the heck? Here's a mason. I don't. $15 too. Double safety mason. Don't see that often. For $15. Something. The Kivlin something company, Boston. I've never seen that exact jar. That's kind of cool. But that looks like it. I gotta, I gotta get carry that stuff. My mom bought, put it in the car. Uh, let me see this stuff here. There's a Pinocchio. I don't see nothing else. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Don't see this often either. These are some old boxing gloves. Fourteen ninety nine. There's an old glove too. Billy Pierce. Some of these can really bring the money. All the old 18 bucks, that's a good price. All right. Later. You know, I see, I didn't even see this. I walked right by it. This is a cast iron base. Premier River. I don't know. What the heck is this? It's like an exercise bike. Man, this thing's built like a tank. That's all cast iron. Look at this thing. I've never seen one of these. It's $375. Look, it's got a wood. That is really crazy. Huh? When have you seen one of them? What in the heck? Here, you can see river. Vail, it looks like, New Jersey. So you could look that up. I sure as heck haven't seen anything like that before. Huh. Looks like a 1920 exercise bike. Later. All right, we got this home. I thought I'd show you this a little bit more. That was a real good price on that. And you can see this is a desirable piece because 
the display stuff. Imagine this filled with airheads with like a nice felt at the bottom of that. That's a nice looking piece for all it was. Nice. Later. All right, we're gonna do the winner for the Marvel the Marvel collection. Total duplicate users. 253 comments, man. Start the raffle, and here's the winner. Lori Sue Berry. Hope you have... Hope your new year is the best ever. 2022. Go Rocks. Well, thank you, Lori Sue. I will send you my email address on the comment that you left, and you can email me your address, and I'll send them out just as soon as possible congratulations and make sure you watch the giveaway videos i have several active giveaways on now just comment on the videos and there's one on this one i'll pick winners in future videos i really appreciate you watching that's what makes this possible later